guys, welcome to another parts factory installation video. Today, we're going to be chucking an indicator stalk onto a Toyota Hilux. That is any model between 05 and 2012. Now, it is a very straightforward job. It is, does actually require a few Phillips head screws underneath the steering column, uh, pull the horn pad off so you'll need to disconnect your battery. Other than that, I would probably estimate it's about a half an hour job. Um, we'll get started, eh? Just a word of warning, guys. Make sure that the first step you take is to disconnect your, the negative terminal off your battery. To do that, use a 10 mil spanner, undo, the, loosen the, the uh, battery clamp, put it to the side. Usually with this part, you'll find that the, the, the actual switch on the mechanism or the indicator mechanism of the unit is the bit that fails. Now we have the new replacement piece here. I wanted to quickly just pull it out of its packaging. I always recommend making sure that the part you've received in the mail is the correct part. Now first things first, there's Phillips heads underneath this um, steering column shroud. Let's remove them. Take your key out, put it on the dash. Sit back as far as it can go. Wanted to quickly show you where the location of the Phillips head screws are. Key back in the ignition. And I want you to rotate the steering wheel to uncover that Phillips head back there. Now there is one there. There is one there. And then you can also see one underneath the column at the back down there. Do you see that? Remove those three screws. Once you get back to this position, try a flathead screwdriver. You will now see where this steering column shroud top piece splits from the bottom piece here. All we're actually doing place a flathead screwdriver in between the two and we just want to split them. It should be very easy to come apart like nothing. See the shroud how it just pulls off the bottom here. Place it out of, your, out of your way. Pull the top piece off. Place it out of your way. Now the next step is actually to remove this horn pad to remove the steering wheel. On the back of this steering wheel, you'll notice two access points. There is one here, and there is one there. Yours may or may not have a cover over it. Mine doesn't. Now, you, what we do is we use a Torx bit screw. It's, this is actually a, what is this? G27. Straight down the back. Unbolt. Most of the time, these screws don't actually come all the way out of the steering wheel. They actually just loosen and they sit in there. Sometimes they do though, so. Yep, that one's just sitting there, guys. Doesn't come, loosen it more. One. Now, this piece here, be very careful with this, very delicate. Use a flat edge screwdriver. You pry up on the yellow part of this plug. See that? And then pry here. It should pop out easily. Do not force it. This is an earth wire. Pull out on that. Move your horn pad to the side. Right, now we're inside the steering wheel. Just wanted to quickly point out, here is the main uh, steering alignment nut. 
what we're essentially doing, we will undo this nut, but we will leave it on slightly. Because we'll actually be pulling on this steering wheel and we don't want to smack ourselves in the face. So, unlo uh, undo this nut, leave it on slightly, maybe a turn or two. Right, use a 19 mil on a rattle gun or a wrench, but with the key in off, off position. Loosen is counterclockwise. Now, that's off. We'll also be pulling the steering wheel off. So this blue earth wire, just remove it out of the clock spring. Put this bolt back on one or two turns. Two turns. Pull on this side, pull on that side. You can see I kind of just pulled this way pulled that way and then did one big pull and there we go bolt off it's an important bolt don't lose it there's the steering wheel place that out of the way now it's important that the steering wheel was straight up and down and this remains locked in place we don't want it to move we don't want to have to do any adjustments right here we are now I wanted to quickly show you, before we go any further, what we're actually doing here. So you can see the parts that we're changing. We're actually changing all the way over to here. We're going to be pulling this clock spring off, placing that clock spring to the side, and replacing this piece to there. Put all the components back together, reinstall the wheel, let's get into it. Right, let's remove this clock spring. In my eyes, it seems like it's just a clipped in clock spring. One on the top, one here, and one there, and it literally just folds off. I would recommend just leaving that plugged in. There's a plug here. Use your flathead screwdriver. Press in on the tab, pull down. I'm going to do the same thing to this side, just for demonstration purposes, but you could get away with not undoing that. One and two. And this one is actually clipped in as well. There's a clip there, let's push it in. Easy as that. Place that right next to you because it's gonna be going back on in a second. Now that everything's unplugged, the next step is to simply use a pair of pliers, get in over the top. And there's actually a clamp. You need to make sure you center the clamp with a flat edge screwdriver and then pull it off with your pliers. You should just be able to crimp that and then slide it off as such. Excellent. So it would now be time to put our new switch on. There's actually nothing wrong with my original switch. It's now time to reassemble your unit. Now I wanted to show you something. This is that clamp, but you won't require a pair of pliers to reassemble it as this actually, once you insert that on, just press down on that tab and this will auto release, pop into place perfectly. So it should be straight up and down perpendicular with the car's dash as well. Let's reinsert all of our plugs. We'll put our wiper switch back in, which just slides in. Plugs back in. One, two, three. Bring our clock spring back up. Looks nice. Bring our steering wheel back up. Put our clock spring wire through. You want to just make sure that the steering wheel is nice and straight, the clock spring's nice and straight, and re reinsert it. Looks good. Remember your earth wire back into the clock spring. Our main bolt. Make sure you're happy with how the steering wheel is sitting and then tighten. You 
rear back. Try and do your blue earth wire first. Then your main airbag wire. Airbag back in. Tighten up your screws. Try and push in on the airbag as you tighten these screws. As if you were pressing the horn. Start with your top shroud. Remember we need to have the key on. Bottom shroud. Take your key out for now. Slide it in that direction. Try not to force it. You can just wiggle its way in. Right, to finish off, all that's required is to get your Phillips head screwdriver back out. Put our three Phillips head screws back in. Starting with this one here. Right, job's all done guys. Pretty straightforward one, nothing uh, really too difficult to tackle yourselves. Um, this part is available on our website guys at www.partsfactoryoz.com.au I believe they're sitting at currently at $88.30 with free express post, three year warranty always. Um, if you have any further questions, remember I'm always available on my live chat. So I am the only person that's on that chat at the moment, so you are talking directly with me if you have any questions or even just want to give me a, some feedback on my videos. If you do have any further requests for videos in the future, I do have access to donor vehicles like this one, which allows me to do videos as such. So make sure you contact me on our live chat. Or leave a comment. Thank you very much. See you next time.